What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to episode number 16 of our Pokemon Y Wonderlock. So in the last episode what we did was we pretty much just we made our way from the glittering cave to Salage City going through Route 8 along the coastline there and then we went into the Salage City gym to see if we could um, take on Grant and we realized that Grant was going to be a bit more troubles than what we thought because I took on the first trainer and I was like nah. No, that was way too hard. So you guys would have just saw the grinding montage. So in the grinding montage, we had a couple of couple of things happen. So I went to the Pokemart. I scooped up some uh, more supplies. Uh, then we had three evolutions. So um, that was pretty wild. I think we had uh, Renraid evolve into Octillery. Then we had Taylor evolve into Swellow. And um, who else was it? Let's have a look. Let's actually, let's go into the party and have a, a quick little party recap here. Um, but yeah, I took on a couple of trainers in Route 10, so we're still yet to get an, an encounter in Route 10. But um, yes, yeah, so who, who else was it? Oh, we had Gibble go into Gabite. That was one of the main ones. That is so cool. Um, but yeah, let's have a quick party recap here. So let's go into the summary. Cool. So we got um, Dino Clear. The French Shield on is now level 23 with Taunt Strength takedown and iron defense i taught um shield on strength because we're going to need that to move a couple of boulders in the future so that could be very useful um so yeah so here is swellow it's level 23 as well it has brave bird growl double team and wing attack we got kangaskhan it's level 26 with comet punch mega punch uh fake out and bite so level 26 is pretty up there that's pretty good then we got Octillery here, the MVP of the team at the moment, being level 28 with Psy Beam, Aurora Beam, Ring Out, and Water Pulse. So the moveset is mint. I absolutely love that moveset at the moment. It's working really well. So good versatility in that one. Um, and then we got Ponytar here. It's level 24, Stomp, Flame Charge, Hypnosis, and Flame Wheel. Um, and then, of course, we got Gabite here, the female Gabite with Takedown, Dual Top, a uh, Dual Chop. Outrage and Iron Head, so yeah, not a bad team we got forming here, but we do we do need some sort of electric, something that's good against water type. So we need grass or electric or something of that nature because I notice I'm having a bit of troubles against water type. So I, I bring out Octillery by default. I'm like, oh, well at, at least we got resistance there. Well, yeah, we need we need to hope for this next one to trade on Route 10 to um, come through for us. But yes, it is time to take on the gym. I'm just going to turn the volume up here a little bit so I can hear the epic gym music. But yeah, let's see, see what we can do. We're going to take on the gym today and hopefully um, not have an uh, Amity fail and hopefully we don't lose anyone because that could be bad. So that's the training we took on. The Relicans gave us a lot of trouble, which I was not too pleased about. But let's see what we can do. So as you guys may or may not know, this is, um, I've only played this game once. I've only completed X and Y once, so it's all still failing you, and we're still trying to figure out um, the ways of the world, the X and Y world. But let's go. Let's climb up these walls. Oop. I have no clue where I'm going. That's not bad. So there's the... Grant should be up there. So let's... Is it that one we go to? There's a trainer there. Should we... Uh, yeah, we should test our luck on the trainer. We'll, we'll give this uh, this trainer a test to see how, how things are going. I'm ready to go if you think you can find a weakness in my defense. Come at me. We'll see. We'll see if we can find the weakness in your defense. But Hiker Craig... Big Craig. Big Craigus. Rog and Roller. See, we need... Shield on really needs some, like, Steel-type moves, because this would be perfect right now. But at the moment, we've only got Strength and Takedown that can do something to this, so that's going to drag things out a bit. So let's move to... Let's just go Octillery. I don't, I don't like constantly going out to Octillery, but it has the best move set, and it's just good. It's just good in a lot of situations at the moment. I can take that. But yeah, it's like Water Pulse or Aurora Beam. Let's use Aurora Beam because I like the animation. 
you. All sturdy. Sturdy rock and roller. I think my shield on sturdy as well, so that's pretty handy as well. So if we ever go to get one hit KO'd, it's like, we're all goods. That's not bad. Probably should have used Water Pulse because it would have been super effective instead of going for something that just looks cool. But thanks, Craig. So, I think we'll just, I don't know, we'll just throw a potion on Octillery just because. And, um, oh, we'll use another one. I don't think we're going to like really need potions in the future because we're starting to creep up to the level where potions don't really do all too much. But let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, there's another trainer. I wonder how many more. I think this may be the last trainer. I don't remember there being any more than like three in this gym. Two or three anyway. Soul Rock. Soul Rock, Soul Rock. Uh, why do I keep leading with Shield On? Shield On's no good to us here at the moment with the moveset. Got to get that fixed. We definitely have to get that fixed. Hopefully, I should do some research and see when Shield On learns some decent moves. Because I really want to use Shield On. Let's use Alt Pulse. Fire Spin, don't get the burn. Okay, that's okay. Definitely feeling a bit more confident after that grinding montage with the with our mons now. But artillery needs to calm down. Needs to calm down. These levels though. We just can't oh. Are we gonna get a move? Swagger! Swagger, the tr the biggest troll move I'm gonna have to teach. I'm sorry guys, but I'm definitely gonna have to teach shield on swagger. As much the hacks are real. I love my hacks moves. But some Lunatone. We just really don't have anything that's going to do anything too much against these rock types. So Octillery is definitely going to be the MP MVP of this gym. Well, until the gym leader, because I think uh, Gabite and stuff can come in in handy at that stage. How much is that going to do? Oh, that did a bit. Kinda of scary, hopefully even one hit KO. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Manon. Manon. But I think we can keep going. We'll just we'll just power up just to um keep the flow. Three. That'll do. Probably should save them, because they do cost money, but it's all good. All goods, we'll just keep chopping. Saves running all the way back to the Pokemon Center. You guys understand, I'm I'm sure. But it looks like we're going up, so we're definitely going the right way. Oh, there's another trainer. That's right. Oh uh, no, I was supposed to change shield on. <laughs> I was supposed to change shield on. That's right. Bit of a switch chain uh sw switch train. Alright. Right horn. If we had like Iron Head, because I know I know Shield On gets Iron Head. That'd be very handy right now. Level 24 level 24 you'd think Shield On would have something like that by now. Let's just go to Gabite actually. Just cause. We got some neutral damage with dual chop dual chop. What was that? Was that Rock Tomb? I can't remember. I read it and then I looked over it. Let's go Dual Chop. Let's see how this goes. So it hits twice and it does 40. So that's okay. Not the speed. You can't drop my speed. But let's go Iron Head for the super, super effective damage. Look at that. Not even stab. Gabite coming through. But yeah, it's kind of a good test. I like to see how the grinding montage kind of like came through for us and like 
kind of opened things up a bit, but Swellow is pretty much useless in this gym. Um, so, same with Ponyta. So if we have, to, we'll probably lose them if it comes to that. Let's keep chopping with Gabite, because Gabite's putting in work right now with Iron Head. Completely forgot that Gabite had Iron Head. So that's definitely good. I think, I'm not sure if it was an egg, it must be an egg, egg move, I don't think Iron Head's a TM. Feel free to correct me in the comment section below, but I'm pretty sure Iron Head is an egg move that gets... Because I had this as a Gabite. Oh, actually, I probably should have swapped out there. I don't know. No, I can't risk it. Can't risk it. Let's power up. Don't want to lose Gabite now that it's Gabite. Like, when it was Gibble, it's like, oh, okay, if I lose it, that's right. But now it's a Gabite, it's like, no, no, no. We're so close. Even though it stays a Gabite for so long. That's the only downside of these dragon types. They just stay a baby so, for so long. Ooh. I like the little sound effect to go with Rock Throw House. Like, Mew. Mew. It's freaking weird, but it's it's cool at the same time. <laughs> and then you see Gabite's reaction. It's like, ah. Oh. I guess, I guess it's a expected reaction if someone's gonna throw a rock at your head, but, you know. Bomb. Get wrecked. Take a rest, Onyx. I don't want to see you. Oh, look at that. Putting in work, getting some nice XP there. I like that, I like that, I like that. But I think we're gonna head back to the Pokemon Center. As much as I want to challenge Grant right now, we're gonna head back to the Pokemon Center and get all healed up. Actually, I, probably sh I should just go up to the top. And then go down the slide. The big slide. So there's Grant. So there's the big wall, and here's the big Grant. Yeah, express. The expressway. Let's go. Let's get out of this gym. Let's get all powered up. Slides for days. I do like those touches in the um, six gen games. All these like random ramps and stuff. They're pretty cool. So let's get all healed up. Do 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 do. So we're gonna take on Grant, and I think that's gonna wrap up today's episode. Cause yeah, that grinding montage took four ebbs. Four ebbs. But let's go. All healed up. All good to go. So let's get in here. Do -do -do. And let's find our way back up to Grand here. Learn from our mistakes. So we need to get left here. What I remember. Doing well. There's the big ramp. Oh no. No, there's the trainer. I, we did go up there. Just to verse the trainer for some XP. Do we still have shield on at the front? We got, we gotta get shield on out, out of the front front of the party here. Cause uh, actually, from what I, I remember, because I quickly went through the bag to see what TMs we could teach shield on. So maybe it could be a good thing if we taught shield on Rock Smash because it's not a HM, it's a TM. Even just temporarily. So we got some sort of like other attack to use. So let's get rid of something. Um, we'll get rid of uh, Iron Defense is nice. But I don't think we'll use it for now. We're going to go all offensive with the hacks, the swagger hacks. So let's throw that on shield on. And we'll just leave shield on the front with that. It's not stab or anything, but 
it should still do something, if you know what I mean. Something more than what strength and takedown would do against a rock type. So that could come in handy. So let's head back up to Grant, the Grantus. I love this gym too. I love the waterfall. Like, check that waterfall out. It's like got got the rainbow effect going on underneath it. And yeah, it is time, you guys. It is time. Whew. So let's save. Let's save the game. Always know to save the game before anything big goes down. But let's go. Let's go. I've been waiting in eager anticipation. What have I been waiting for? For a worthy challenger to, to appear. Worthy, I am worthy, I'll take that. Thank you, Grant. It's quite an achievement to have climbed all the way up here. Very impressive, actually. I have a feeling that our battle will turn out to be worth the wait. I hope you'll, ha you'll show me that your skill as a trainer surpasses even mine. Ooh, look at him go, he's like... Crack, 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 crack. Stretching up. It is time. You know, you know, things are getting real. When that music kicks in. So we got a more right here. So this is perfect. Because we can use Rock Smash. Or we'll swagger. Straight up. Thunder Wave. Stop it. I was, I was supposed to be doing the hacks. Swagger here. Get wrecked, Amora. And then we'll rock smash. Like, that was perfect. That, that worked out really well. Look at that. Oh no. The hacks. On both, both sides. Here we go. Oh no. No. <laughs> that swagger boosted swagger boosted takedown that's not good let's heal up because that did a lot more than what it should have <laughs> oh no that did a lot more than it should have come on oh thank god Okay, so Amora missed. Let's use Rock Smash. No, no, you're out of confusion. Oh. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, no, so Amora has takedown. That's not good. And we might have just dug ourselves a hole here, guys. We might have just dug ourselves the biggest hole. No! Hyper Potion as well. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> we need to get this swagger off. Oh no. And we're paralyzed. It's just like, what can we do? We've got Ponytar, but it's using Takedown. So it's, it's just not gonna work. It's just spamming Takedown. So we're going, we're, most likely we just either keep spamming Super Potion here, So we need to get rid of that paralysis as well, because that's causing dramas. So we're getting outsped. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Because if you guys are wondering why I'm not letting Shield on die, it's because, or faint. It's because this is a nu it's a wonder lock, so it's a uh, wonder trading nuzlocke, and if it dies, it's gone. So it's either we give up someone here because I use swagger. I can't believe that. I can't believe the swagger is completely backfiring right now. 
Because we got nothing that resists. We, we don't have a rock type or anything like that that re will resist the takedown. Because it's just doing half. Like, no matter what, it is doing half. But takedown is doing damage to Amora as well. Don't have any four restores, obviously. We're too early in the game to do that to get rid of the paralysis as well. So yeah, that did over. I think we're going to have to lose shield on here, actually, I I don't feel as if there's anything we can do, because we need to get Ponyta out, that I don't want to lose Ponyta. Mm. But we do have Torchic in the box as well. Yeah, I think we'll do that, we'll try it, we'll just try it, if we lose someone, we lose someone, that's just how it is. I'm not going to keep spamming super potions because that is going to get very costly. Okay. Crit. You have to be joking. Flame wheel. Outspeed. See you later. Should have just done that from the word go. Because that was neutral. Tyrant. So yes, we do want switch. And let's go to... Oh, will Gabite do it? Will Gabite do it? That's the thing. I think Gabite will do it. Oh no, it has Ice Fang. I think it has Ice Fang. So if we do not one hit KO, Gabite is gone for sure. Because Tyrant's very physical. This is this is terrible. The plays are so bad right now, guys. So we're going to go all out with Outrage. And hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is what I like to see. That is what I like to see, you guys. So we, pull, we pulled through. We took on Grant and we won. <laughs> oh, wow. It just gets so intense. Like, the Nuzlocke just really intensifies everything. It makes you have to think... So we spend all those super potions for no reason at all. You've proven to be a wall that I am unable to surmount. Eight grand. Cheers. That'll pay for all those super potions we used, I guess. There are some things that seem out of reach no matter how hard you try. However, however it's important that you never give up, no matter the, the opponent or the odds. I could tell from our battle that you and your Pokemon understand that. To commemorate such an impressive show of teamwork, please accept the cliff badge. Awesome. Awesome. So we have our second badge. Ding. On the layout. Cliff, bag is, uh, cliff badge is now added to the layout. But yeah. Level 40 will obey us. So we got to remember that because all our Pokemon are traded as this is a wonder traded Nuzlocke. So I also get this. Rock Tomb. Ooh, I wonder if Shieldon can learn that. We will see. We will find the answer. That's when you'll truly be able to smile. I'm already smiling after beating you because that was freaking intense. That was so intense. But let's go to Rock Tomb. And teach it to sh Shieldon. Because we're just saying shield on was going to be a bit of a burden. I didn't swap shield on, shield on out, which was silly, very silly. But um, rock tomb or rock smash? I think stab will be better. So rock tomb over rock smash. Hmm, I like that. I like that. I like that. Awesome. So that is awesome. So let's let's make our way out. And I've already got Shield on with Strength, which we're going to utilize straight away, because I just remembered there is, I believe there's a HM in Connecting Cave, so we need to use Strength to push the, bol the boulder over. Um, let's just quickly go back and heal up, because we are going into the cave, and there are mons in the cave. And I know Ponyta is just about to go to sleep. We were so close to losing Ponyta, that was way too close. Scared the crap out of me. I'm sure you guys would probably be like, oh, la, 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 as well. 
yeah, we haven't lost them on for a while, but I, I'm touching wood, so hopefully we don't lose anyone anytime soon. But let's go up to Connecting Cave. Before I forget, because I know I will, I forget a lot of things. But let's go into here. And there's that boulder. And there's the TM or HM. Might be a TM, I'm not sure. But it's still a TM. And it could be useful. Aerial Ace. That was worth it. That was definitely worth it. Cool. And we'll also go down here while we've got strength activated. And we'll knock this one down as well. Frustration. Another TM. I'll take it. Frustrating, huh? Okay. And this isn't an encounter, because connecting cave, I classify as like one big cave, so any encounter we get in here is just nothing. It's all all XP if I want it to be. But yeah, with that said, I guess it's time to wrap up today's episode. We'll just make our way out of this cave so we got a nice, decent starting point for the next episode. You know when you're getting spammed with wild mons straight off the word go. So let's get out of here. So yeah, that was worth it. Aerial Ace. Frustration's kind of meh, but Aerial Ace is pretty, pretty wicked. But yeah, let's sit here. That's a nice, nice little view there. Check that. But yeah, with that said, we survived. We took on Grant and we won. We didn't lose anyone. Had a bit of a, a super potion spam, which was kind of like... Whatevs, whatevs, I guess. It, whatever happens, happens. But yeah, in the next episode, what we will be doing is we will be going to Route 10. And we'll make our way through there. I cleared out the trainers in the grinding montage, but we'll make our way through there. We'll collect any items that are on the way. And um, I believe we end up encountering Team Flare. So yeah, that should be pretty exciting. So we'll have a wonder trade and a team flower encounter. But yeah, so with that said, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, be sure to drop a like down below. And yeah, I'm going to get up out of here and I'll see you guys in episode 17 or another one of my Pokemon videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.